Years ago, a fabled machine unveiled itself from the shadows for the first time in over 30 years. It fell into the hands of a boy who knew not the potential of the steed he had come across. The boy, along with a group of highly skilled, highly recruited mechanics, set forth on a mission to return the steed back to its former glory. What's up, you two? Get that off. <laughs> Bolts. <laughs> <laughs> they worked to no avail, and as the months passed, the bike lay dormant again. Until now. Oh my gosh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I was not expecting to film a video today, but look, this is the lot that I actually learned at, and I haven't been here for like a year and a half, and I figure, you know, since I came back to the lot that I learned how to wheelie at, where this whole YouTube, whole dirt bike, whole wheelie journey started, I might as well come out here with a new bike, okay? You guys have seen this bike on the channel one time before. It's like my third or fourth video, but this is my 1980 Pook Maxi Sport Mark II. Yes, it's a long name. Yes, there's Ross. Oh my God, dude. I'm just telling them about my sick new bike, dude. This thing honestly has more power than this. Dude, I believe it. More power. I'm telling you, man, those WR250s, nothing, bro. No balls. Dude, I'm so hyped. This is the first time that I came out and really tried to wheelie this thing. So this was actually the first bike I ever owned. And on my channel way back in the early days, this is like one of the first videos was me and my buddies putting a 70cc kit on it. So I had it for a couple years and just ran it with a stock 50cc. And honestly, it wasn't bad, but I kind of wanted a little more. And you see the guys like overseas all doing crazy wheelies and stuff, just stunting these things out. So I figured, you know, I'd put a little 70cc kit on it, give it a little spice. And, uh, you know, now I'm out here trying to learn how to wheelie a Pook Maxi. I get a lot of hate recently because I've been riding the 450 so much and my channel name is Two Stroke J. But, guys, a 450 is just a well-rounded bike for any type of ride you go to. No matter what, you hop on highway, you're in the city streets. It's a bike that is just going to do you well no matter where you're at. The reason why my name is Two Stroke J is because I will always be a bigger fan of two strokes i grew up with two strokes i love two strokes they're easy to work on they're fun to tune and you know stuff like this bike is what i really want to get into in the future just weird old unique bikes that i can still stun out and have fun on they're big overseas but in the united states you just don't see this so you saw someone wheeling one of these down your block you're gonna be thinking what the hell is that you're gonna be impressed so yeah guys i just wanted to get out today in the og lot and freaking try and stunt this thing man oh turn it on turn it on Surprisingly for a 1980, everything works. The lights work. The only thing that I can say about it right now that definitely needs improving is this rear brake. This actually has a handbrake similar to a stunt bike. Ooh, there goes Ross. Hey, hey, cameraman Jay. Hey! So mopeds and scooters actually have handbrakes similar to like a full-size stunt bike. So this lever right here on my left hand is the rear brake. Learning how to use this well on this moped I think is actually going to prepare me well for if I ever do end up getting a handbrake. I'm going to have the handbrake knowledge in my left hand already. So I can't complain about that, man. I'm not going to lie. I, I did a couple wheelies on it already and I'm digging it, man. You just got to sit at the very back of the seat and it just comes up. The hardest thing is balancing on these tires right now, but... And I need some beefier front suspension. Woo! I'm bottoming out the suspension every time I go down. Anyone that does know mopeds... For anyone that does know mopeds... My bad. Uh, it has a K-Star 70cc kit on it and a 14mm Bing. So this carburetor is a little bit upgraded from the stock. It's just a bigger version of the stock carburetor. But uh, what I do want to get is like a Delorto or a bigger carburetor that's going to maximize the power output of this 70cc kit. That should make a huge difference. But for now, I'm just rocking it with the Bing. And you know what? It works. I'm out here doing wheelies on it. And it's smooth. It's just, it doesn't have tons of power. But I think I can cruise like 35 on it and still pull it up. You know, that's all I really want. Look at that, dude. It comes up easy, bro. One little flick of the wrist, dude. This thing's got power. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And I could wheelie this thing for days, bro. It's so comfy. <laughs> it's like I'm sitting on a freaking couch. Let's go, dude. This seat is, like, super long, and it has a ridge on the back of it. So you just put your butt up against that, dude. You're locked in, ready to go. Woo! 
Let's go. One hand. Oh, I got to be careful because that's my only brake, man. I'm not used to having a handbrake only. I'm honestly surprised at how fast I learned this handbrake. Like, I feel like I got it down already. The first type of bike I ever really learned to wheelie on was a mountain bike, just a pedal bike. If you ever wheelie pedal bikes, you know that the right lever is the uh, rear brake. So it kind of like transfers over to the left pretty easily for me at least. I feel like I'm kind of already comfortable with it. I haven't had this much fun on a bike in so long. I can't lie. This thing's sick. I definitely need better suspension though. This thing is like bouncy as hell. Look at this. Hey, you think I should get better suspension? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta air this MF up. Let's freaking go, baby. Yeah. Is it working? Oh, it's working. <gasps> 30 PSI? Oh, that's plenty, bro. Let's go. I'm gonna be swerving on these boys. Watch this, watch this. I'm about to pull it up at 30. You're not even ready for it. All right, maybe not. That's fast. Oh, it comes up so easy. <laughs> Let's go. This thing is a beast. The power band on this thing is crazy. The faster you go, man, you're like topping it out. It comes right up. Watch, 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 watch. Let's go! Oh! Oh! I'm the best mini stunner in the game, bro. Let's go! And let's go. Hold my hoodie down and take a look around. Sounds that shook a town, man. It feel good to smell. So I should have frowned when the night is looking down. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who the smoothest crook around? Taking some dollars and making the way from Impala's. Shaking the jays because they chasing the face of a robber. Acting goofy. Absolutely. Because my passion suits me. So blast the tunes, please. This thing is so fun, bro. I'm so hyped that I finally got this bike running. It's literally been down, not running for like probably well over a year and a half. Woo! Oh my God, this thing is fast. <laughs> I don't even need a new carburetor, bro. Holy. Oh! Bro, this thing pulls up easier than my 450. Jeez. Yeah, guys, this thing is pretty much like stunnable. Obviously, I'm stunting it right now. The main thing that people do when they stunt these is a big bore kit, which I have, K-Star 70cc kit, to get an upgraded uh, carburetor. Mine is upgraded, but I could definitely use a bigger one just for a little bit extra power. And then I believe this rear section unbolts and comes completely off. People pretty much build a stunt like 12 bar off of these shock mounts and just bring it back right here. Maybe some titanium to scrape, better rear brakes, and then just somewhere I can put my foot so I can be hitting stand-ups on this thing. But <laughs> other than that, bro, this thing is impeccable i'm having a great time on it it's doing way better than i thought it was and honestly i didn't expect to learn this handbrake that quickly i'm so hyped this guy just says all i need is one foot on my bike bro oh he is dripping gas holy that is not fuel efficient my guy unlike this moped 100 miles per gallon let's go 100 miles per gallon in a wheelie like this i can make it across kansas bro on one tank that's how comfortable this thing is to ride Oh, he scraped! Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Damn! That was an accident, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, man. My my freaking pristine 1980 Fender. No. It is what it is, man. It's a stump bike, bro. Hip hop tour guide, hit a wall, crash, rap or die. Wanna get sad? Drive a four wheel ride, be more fly. Till then, I'll. That tune goes crazy on the moped. Just so by with the way. I'm a bad in the cave, oh, sit fuck. back in the shade when I'm pads in the haze. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Misbehave, I'm a troublemaking teenager. Be real, we stay with the police haters. See, take it. You see these stunts, boy? Damn. That is so fun. Not having a clutch is like the best thing ever, bro. Who would have thought? Three turn mayor, getting reelected just three turns later. <laughs> I'm just doing random things with my feet because I don't need to cover a brake, bro. You can literally ride these things like this. Uh, I've seen greater days, so let the haters play the game. Dreams fade away when you make the predator the prey. Pull that thing up. Mark Venturi, shaky stunts. Oh! I know he's been working on the circles heavy. Oh! <laughs> All right, I kind of jinxed him on the circles. That's my bad. The ace of spades can make its way to save the day. But from the start, the club of heart was diamond. Now I'm in Zion, flying through the skyline. The game on my back, I got five spines. Black cat with nine lives, time flies by. So I got one life to lose. But how will I use it? I put it all in the music. Cause your pussy fold away before they hand your cards. Broke ass rapper, now you dancing with the stars. I'm handling these balls like a simple situation. Based on them cats who don't fit in the equation. Patience is a virtue, but fuck it, I want it now. Get my record deal ready.
so much fun. Thank you guys for watching. For real, I messed with y'all for rocking with me. It means so much, guys. Hopefully, I can get some merch out here soon for you guys. I think it'll really help the channel, and it'll be sick, man. Just rocking my own shirts, seeing you guys rocking them, sending me pictures of it. Like, that's a dream. That's a long time dream. I'm waiting for that to happen, and hopefully, that day comes soon, man. So, I love y'all. Thank you for watching. See ya. Cause these older cats is getting a little rusty. It's time for a change, like Barack said, and I don't care. Hip hop is not dead, spit hot lead, but none of these haters get shot dead. They don't bother me. I'll even play them for my wife. Kick back, have a laugh, or you complain about your life.